want to pop this back into one line, so I'm just going to come out of animation mode, get into the text and delete all those carriage returns. Choose the final resting place for the text down there. Center it horizontally, which is H. And now what I want to do is I want to put a box behind that. Very simple, come up here, click on the rectangle, and then choose box. And now I've put in a box. Now you might notice it's come up with these swirly patterns, which is the same swirly pattern I used on the text, and this shine in the middle. And that's basically because it's using the texture I used on the last thing I did, which is the text. So it's called the same pattern as the text. Even though this is a box, I can still come over here and choose one of these presets. These all look like they're presets of text, but drag that and drop that on there. It applies that style to the box. Okay, the box has actually blotted out the words because, pretty simply, it's on top of it. It's like stacking up layers inside of Edius. If you look down here at the timeline, let's just close it up, you can see I've got the rectangle is there and the text is above it. So this is the one thing that is slightly different in VizTitle to most programs. The stacking order is the one at the top is the bottom layer and as you add in more layers, you know, the rectangle is visibly on top of the text in the timeline here it's underneath it. If I was to pick it up and move it around that's going to put the rectangle behind the text. But the only thing about this which was kind of different to most programs is the stacking order of the stuff down here. You'll notice the rectangle only lasts a certain amount of time because I just dragged it and put it on there so obviously you start playing it and then it disappears. So I probably want the rectangle to be dragged out and be a bit bigger. So now it's the same length as the text. Okay, it's beginning to look a bit hideous. Maybe I should try and use something else which at least looks a little bit more like the text. Yep, I think I'm proving here that the one thing this title needs when I'm doing titles, just like everything else, is a good taste filter of some kind. So there I've got my title coming on, sits there for a bit, and then big wormhole effect, wallop. Maybe I want the box to be semi-transparent, very easy come up to the transform again and then just change the transparency on it. At the moment I'm not seeing anything behind the title, it's completely black. Why is that? Because in Edius I don't have any video on the timeline. Let's get out of this title, so I'm going to come up here and just click on the X to shut it down. When you click on that it says, oh this is an animation, do you want to save it as a still or save it as an animation? It normally detects whether or not you've just done a static title or an animation. You know, if I ticked on that it would come out and I just have that picture. I wouldn't have any of the fancy animation I've made up. If I tick on that, it's going to save it as an animated title. Click on yes. There we are. It's on the timeline and does exactly what I want it to do. But really, I'd like to put a bit of video or something behind it. Now, let's make it very simple. I'm just going to come up here and then create a color mat. Just using Edius's color mat. I'm going to just put it behind it, and there we are, you can see you've got the title with the color map behind it. Now if I open this up, hold down on shift, and it goes straight into the full Viz title interface, you can now see the background, whatever is on the track below it, you can see in the Viz title interface, which means you can do things like sample a color, like I could sample the red color there and use it in the text, you know, just come over here and then click on this and then sample the red color if you wanted to. So I've now got a text in a box, glows and sparkles a bit, and then disappears. Okay, two questions. A, why is it the red title disappears at that point at about five seconds? Actually, that's because in Edius, the red title is only five seconds long. Inside of this title, I made the this title 10 seconds long, but I haven't dragged it out to be bigger inside of Edius. Let's just close this, grab hold of it, drag it out to be as long as it can be, and put the background behind it. Come back into this title, and now I get a red title all the way around the back. And by the way, if I just wanted a red blob like this in the background, I could have done it very easily inside of this title. Just bung in another rectangle that fills the entire screen and then put a gradient on it. Use the angle there just to change it around so it's the right way around. And you see there I've achieved the same thing. Of course that's at the top, so move it to the bottom. I've achieved the same thing as I did in Edius. But of course, I'm actually not trying to create a red and black background. This is normally be a piece of video that I'm trying to edit with the title over the top of it. Just use the red and black background to make things simple. I can get the box to animate as well. Just grab hold of this, open it up, and then just do something on that. Why don't I just grab hold of another template from over here, set 2D stretch, and throw it on there. 
and you can see the box pops in and then that's exploded out grab hold of an explode template and I want to make sure I drop it underneath the rectangle and accidentally drop it there because it'll go on the text make sure you're dropping it on the rectangle make it a bit bigger but now the rectangle will blow up for me at the end but you might notice I've got another little problem there yeah, the words are supposed to actually disappear off screen they're not supposed to suddenly disappear become a black hole and then come back in I've obviously got it the wrong way round why is that? Because when I chose that black hole or wormhole effect here, I came down to wormhole and I grabbed the first thing I could see. Well, you might notice here you've got in, stay, and out. And in are effects for it coming in, out are effects for it disappearing, and stay are effects for it staying around. And I chose an in effect. And I should have chosen an out effect because the text is trying to disappear. So let's go back to this text. Let's find that wormhole dump it, so I selected it, press delete, grab another wormhole, put that on there and just make that fit and then see what happens. Oh yeah that makes more sense. Now you notice this title struggling there to play it back? Actually in this system at the moment I've got an ATI graphics card which is a 5770 which is two or three years old and actually by today's standards not that brilliant. So it struggles with this sort of thing. Kind of similar performance I get out of my DVC laptop.